And the worst part about all of that that happened yesterday is that was a game the Bears shouldn't have won and then had won. Like, that's a game mm -hmm. where you basically can – that that is – a win ugly game that you need in an NFL season. Not every game can be, oh man, we looked awesome. That was, hey, the defense held us in that game, kept on making them kick field goals. The offense couldn't do for three quarters. And then we find a way with our rookie quarterback to make big plays down the stretch to somehow steal one on the road against a very good Washington Commanders team. And then it's just all for naught. Hey, before we get going, I want to talk about the beer sponsor of this show. You guys know it's a great tasting, less filling Miller Lite. Um, Tough one yesterday, obviously, uh, if you're a Bears fan. Um, but at least while you were out there watching, you were drinking the best beer. So, um, yeah. Should we just watch every game at Cody's with Miller Lite? <laughs> we might have to, man. Yeah. We might have to. Cody's Miller Lights were... Uh, Chris Fall Miller Lights are nice. Yeah, Chris Fall, 8.30 a.m. Miller Light was... Mm -hmm. was Seem to bring some sort of luck. So, uh, listen, you guys know great tasting, less filling. They sparked that debate in 1975. You guys don't have to decide because they're both great. So make your game time taste like Miller time. Taste great and is less filling. Let it be both to get Miller Lite delivered right to your door. Visit MillerLite.com slash midshow, or you can find it pretty much anywhere that sells beer. Just make sure you celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories per 12 ounces, fewer cals and carbs and premium regular beer. Go drink your Miller Lite, folks. And uh, let's get into the show. All right, it's a stretch. Bears lose in horrific fashion to the Commanders. Um, so I, we'll start with this. We'll start with this. I, there's, we got to start with you. I haven't seen you since. Yeah. We, we all scattered like cockroaches we did. after the game. You threw my phone in between the couches and left. I didn't notice I threw the phone in between the couches until I saw the clip this morning. We have to start with you. Yeah. What I, do you have to say for yourself? I, I apologize. I should know better considering who I root for. It was stupid. It was in the heat of the moment. I, I, I said it Even the when I do it. fucking said it, instantaneously, I knew what I did. And the funny thing is, is this, this wasn't caught on camera. I walk over to Ed and I say, Ed, say a prayer. I stopped, I stopped short. I was going to say, say a prayer for me because I knew what Explain I did. Explain to the people what you did if they didn't watch the gambling cave, okay. if they didn't watch the stream. So the Bears take the lead uh, with 23 seconds left, right? Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I'm pumped up. I, I, In the back of my head, I knew the game wasn't over, but like I said it as if I was guaranteeing the game was over. I go, never apologize for a fucking win or whatever I turned around and said to you. And, and you what I say... Me, Game's not over. I said, game's not over, dude. What a oh, fucking... Fuck, I will right. never apologize no. for a win. We, no, we have to still have to 23 win. Seconds left, 23 still have seconds to win. left. 23 seconds left. You gotta go. go. Game's not over. I promise. I promise to God I will put my hand on a Bible. I know I'm not religious, anything like that, but like I'll swear under oath. I swear to God I lost sleep last night. I swear to God in yeah. my life I lost sleep last night, not just because of what I did, but because of everything that ensued. In that three and a half hour stretch, my thing was, I, what what do you think Eberflus and the defensive leaders and the offensive leaders are saying to Tyreek Stevenson today? <sighs> that's we're basically having the same yeah, conversation. exactly. Yeah, right. That's what we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're we have to sit you down <laughs> yes. and be like accountability is important in this locker room. It, go, These it are the, the the details matter in, in, in when you're trying to win a football game. When you're talking about who to blame for that loss, it's Stevenson, Waldron. I did. I, I and then Dave. Well, they they they. Someone asked me for the blame ply on the uh, Hail Mary, and I said one Eberflus, two White Sox, Dave. Three Eberflus again, four Stevenson, five Eberflus for a third. Why? So you only got one. No, and it's it's very fair. And but why isn't Stevenson one? That is the. I don't ultimate. know what his assignment was. I don't uh, know. Uh, well, I'll tell you. Like that was his. But case. if we're if we're talking about I've seen karma, if we're talking about karma, that was karma smiting Stevenson more so than I me. almost but, feel okay. like you said it and it somehow went into Stevenson's it, 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 Stevenson heard White Sox say say it yeah, yeah no no here's why I don't blame uh this here's why I blame Eberflus more than Stevenson because uh Eberflus is he's the coach of the team that's a discipline fact uh, like factor to me discipline is is very important that comes from the coach yes Stevenson's a, a bonehead stupid I don't know what his assignment was I heard some people saying Bayard was supposed to be the one back and he crept up into the scrum I don't know 
So without fully knowing where he was supposed to be and if he was, in fact, supposed to be on Noah Brown, uh, I can't conclusively say, like, all the blame goes on. Well, Simpson, I'll tell you where I, he wasn't supposed to be. He was talking shit to the the Washington agreed, fans. Agreed. No, I'm not. I am not. While I was in air. I am not defending Stevenson, but this is one of those situations where I will, when when it, when a team is undisciplined, I am much harder on the coach than I am yeah. the player. Sure. Because it's like that is a culture thing that is comes from – Matt Eberflus, and the other part, reason why Eberflus is number one in my mind, because he handed away 13 yards to fucking, yes. uh, I, I think it was Terry McLaurin, mm -hmm. uh, on the play before to get them into, like, think about this. Jaden Daniels couldn't reach the end zone. He hardly did right there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If it was 13 yards back, that would have been a stupid lateral play that would have been, like yeah, yeah. been over. And and not only that, but Eberflus in all his comments after the game, even this morning, I think he went on. Uh, I think he, who, what show does he go on in the morning? I think he goes he on is, ESPN yeah. 1000. I think he goes on with Cap and Hood. He was basically like, "No, that you know, we, we, it all comes down to the last play, so it doesn't really matter." No, that last play that is, was like, doesn't infuriating. Yeah, so he is such a fucking idiot. <sighs> Carm tweeted this out too. Matt Eberflus. Now, obviously, he was tanking for a couple years. Yeah. His record on the road in the NFL is 3-17, and 17, and the wins are against Bailey Zappi, Sam Howell, and Josh Dobbs. Not good. Uh, last week, I said that I was willing to give them a full year this year, the, and them as the coaching staff, before I said they cannot win a Super Bowl with this. I, they can't do it. The, yesterday yeah, was, join yesterday well, oh yeah i mean they're not it, it, that, that, yesterday either. could be the the playoffs that was that, yeah. it really could and you you pointed out almost twice on waldron doing stupid shit at the goal line, goal line would have cost two losses and two the, losses and, and, and the worst part about all of that that happened yesterday is that was a game the bears shouldn't have won and then had won like that's a game mm -hmm. where you basically can that that is a win ugly game that you need in the NFL season. Not every game can be, oh man, we looked awesome. That was, hey, the defense held us in that game, kept on making them kick field goals. The offense couldn't do shit for three quarters. And then we find a way with our rookie quarterback to make big plays down the stretch to somehow steal one on the road against a very good Washington Commanders team. And then it's just all for naught. And, and it's was, just yeah. fucking insane that it happened and, that way. And they were, I mean, off of a bye. Like, off a bye. So, and like Caleb was clearly like too amped up, but the plan sucked. And then it was just like when they're finally like moving down the field on that, the, the first game winning drive that they pissed away. And it's like you're carving them running up the middle. And then it's like, I know what we do. Well, let's hand it to fucking Doug Kramer. And it's like, so you finally have some momentum. Things are working. Do the basics. Like, don't be fancy. Don't try to be the smartest guy in the room. Don't be cute. Just be fucking good. And they, the coaching staff routinely finds ways to snatch losses that should be wins. Mm -hmm. And it, it, they just, you cannot, like, this team might, who knows? They might end up making the playoffs. They have a good roster. There is always going to be a ceiling with this staff. Yeah. Did you yeah. see the uh, aerial view of the second to last play? Yeah, I mean, there was no one there. No, no one was set. And they did no it in the was... fucking in the first half where they gar guard the boundary. Yep. Yeah, they did. They, they did. did. They did. So they you did. know they yeah. can do it. It's just time and time again when it comes to winning plays, the coaching staff fails them. And and I'm not – this is not me uh, excusing how bad Caleb was for three quarters because he was bad. He was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was bad. The offense was bad. Uh, he – like, the fact that he was able to – step up in the fourth quarter and make big big time throws and big time plays yeah. makes me not waver on what I think of him long term but yeah we you, you like that was a your defense was playing winning football where the commanders were able to move the ball at will in between the 20s but every time they got in the red zone you were able to buck up and it was like we kept on sitting there being like we feel like we're getting killed, and it's a nine nothing yeah. game. Right? Yeah. We feel a, like it's getting we're getting killed. It's a twelve kinda, nothing game. It right? was a twelve seven. It was a fifty four minute slog. Yeah, yeah. fifty four minute slog. You're holding on finally. to that game with your fucking finger. Yeah. right. And yeah. you're and 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 you just keep making that one stop you need, and you're like, please, offense, do anything. And they finally did something, and then you have that. So it's just it's so fucking frustrating to to watch that happen off a of bye week. I, I don't know what the plan was for the bye week. Like, what the fuck did they do during the bye week? 
I don't know. I it, it makes no sense. You're supposed to good coaches bring their team out off a of bye week and they look crisp and they have a plan and they have mismatches they're attacking and it felt like everyone was covered and it was just God damn it, man. That game fucking sucked. Yeah. It sucked. It did. And then even even defensively not going to show up point wise, but I think that's one of their worst games too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean they yeah. moved the ball. They, they moved, moved the ball. They moved the ball well, and the commander shot themselves in the foot so many times. Yeah. They yeah. had like three bad drops. Eckler dropped one right before the goal line. Ertz dropped that one, which um, was a nice play by Stevenson too. But still, yeah, that was more Stevenson. Yeah, I get up. But still, he yeah. got a hold yeah, yeah. out of that ball. Yeah, yeah. Like, he had it all the way coming hands down. There, I. Yeah, I mean the defense. Look, I Mystic. we have a, a bunch of injuries. How, how many? How many? How many did Dexter miss? How much time? Not much. I don't think not he much. Missed like he missed a, a couple. Montez minutes, was yeah. a little banged yeah. up. Obviously, we 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 still don't have Brisker or Gordon in the back end. There's no excuses. Every every team deals with injuries. Um, and yeah, the defense could have played better. But I also think again they did their job in the fact that without them standing up in those spots, like that's a blowout. Yeah, that could have easily been a blowout if the defense doesn't buck up when they need to. And yeah, the commanders, but the commanders also have had those issues in the red zone, so it's not like right. that was atypical. Yeah. Um, and Jaden Daniels is really good. He he, he looks calm and he's fucking good. And it's just it was so frustrating to watch that entire game and then to have like twenty three seconds of like holy shit, we're gonna pull this out. Uh god damn it! How are you oh, the, the sitting on the timeouts at the end too? Like, yeah. Like, what do you? So, even when you're saying that they weren't like set for the play before, they didn't defend it the way, the right way before, just fucking call timeout right there. And yeah. Be like, these are your assignments. So, you don't have Tariq Stevenson talking shit. And I did see the report that I saw that Bayard is a quote unquote jumper. And then there's three guys that are supposed to make a triangle around him, kind of box it out. And then Stevenson was supposed to have like deeper than the deepest. Yeah. And so, it sounds like, and he issued the public apology and everything too, but it does sound like not only was he not locked in, but that was also his man. I could totally see a situation where he's talking shit, he turns around, he's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, like, and then just tries to like fly in and do whatever, yeah, make yeah. a play on the ball, and it's like, well, your brain isn't there, and that goes back to what you're saying about the culture. Yep. I saw Rossini tweeted that. Uh, she talked to an NFL head coach, and they said they are going to show that as what not to do. Yeah. In a Hail Mary <laughs> Fuck Yeah. Or literally Duh. like a workplace harassment video. Yeah. 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 They just put pop it in, and they're like, here you go, guys. This is what you're not supposed to do. Don't and do this. It was so winnable. I, I don't – one thing, too. Why the fuck do we start so slow every single every game? Every game. game. A, off a bye, yeah. too. That's I thought that – I was I didn't think it would. I was hoping it would change off the bye because they've been trash in the first pretty much half every game this year. You guys heard me say it in the gambling cave. The minute we sat down yep. and mm -hmm. we got the ball, I was like, this mm -hmm. sucks. I don't want to get the ball because yeah. I know how bad yeah. we start these games. It's basically an automatic – if we receive the ball, it's an automatic loss of a possession because yeah. they get it in the second half and we're just going to punt. Because I can understand – in the end of the game there, in the later half, where you have to adapt because you're not ready for the left side of your offensive line to look like Karan totally. and uh, Doug Kramer. You know, people got hurt. Braxton Jones went out. Uh, Tevin Jenkins went out for a while. You're not Bill prepared. Murray. <laughs> yes, exactly. You no, gotta, you gotta, you gotta shrink the playbook to totally. do whatever fits your personnel. But early on, wh why? Why? Every why? time, why? Why? And it was so you, bad. You, Ryan brought up a good point. On the uh, last goal line, they threw that that fade to DJ to DJ, and that stopped the clock. If they don't, the the commanders are calling timeout, and they're using that last timeout right there. If they just would have ran it up the middle and stuffed it, if they score, you, you score obviously. But if not, they're the ones calling the timeout right there. Yeah, you know? probably. Yeah. Uh, it's so just, it's it's a wasted. It like every like I can't say it enough. I don't care if you're a high school coach or Pee Wee football coach, Bill George coach, all the way through the NFL. If you're fourth and inside the one, you run it four straight times between the tackles. Don't give it to a fullback. Don't run an option. Don't run a fade. Just run it. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. That's football, at least in my opinion. You don't run it. Why are they running a fucking fade right there? Give it to fucking Roshan. And exactly what's going to happen most of the time is what happened. They score a touchdown. Yeah. Just, I just don't understand it. That's two fucking games. The Doug Kramer shit was so stupid. I just ugh. how many handoffs do you think he's ever taken in his life? Oh, That's they said ever. they've repped it a hundred. Yeah, they did. They did. Oh yeah, they were practicing it all bye week. Great job. Fuck, that was, yeah, that was great use of good time. use of time. Yeah. But that's like a thing where it's like you know I was watching that a couple weeks ago. The Lions play the Cowboys and the Lions were f murdering them. 
and they try to run a, a hook and ladder to Penny Sewell, which got I think got called back for an illegal man downfield. That's at that juncture, fine. Have, if you're up by fifty, sure. that's what I said. I said yeah. I don't yeah. mind a zag because you got to zag sometimes. I don't I don't yeah, agree but, that you just got to run it four times. So, uh, but, I'm not but, necessarily. I'm. Just, but that's not the like. If you want to, that's not the situation. Giving it to a guy number sixty-eight is a fuck you play because, because that's a play that you run with when you're like the game is yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you want to do that against rub the, it in. you want to do that against the Panthers when you're up huge fucking fine I don't care doing it when you haven't had any offensive success all game long and you're like this is the time to bust out a fucking gadget play absolutely not I agree. Yeah, I, I don't hate it maybe early in a game or something because big man touchdowns are kind of part of football now, which is crazy. No, it's not. But, I mean, it is. Do you watch the NFL? I, I watch. That's, it's, all not, the it's, Ed, it's not a thing. It's never going to be a thing. It will. It was never a thing. It's I, not a thing. That's they're not. They're catching footballs all the time. Touchdowns all the time. Yeah, I mean, the Lions do it all the time. I want Ben Johnson so bad. Yeah. I'm so it, bad. I'm just so. It just fucking sucks. Everything sucks. It's like they. like. This is not like that. The thing that's so frustrating is that th this type of a loss where it's a coaching staff is not surprising at all. No. Like if if Belichick or, or one of these coaches like fuck something up and it's like, well, you know, they had the right plan 98 percent of the time. It's like this is like this is what the Bears do. They always fuck up the coaching schedule with the quarterback schedule. They find an incompetent coach probably because he's cheaper and then they, they – it always bites them in the end. So you finally have a team that looks pretty good on paper and pretty promising for the future. And you're just like, you're handcuffing yourself because you didn't want to make, you didn't want to buy out a coach. But at the same time, like I'm trying to think positives. I mean, that Hail Mary's, it, it's a, it's a fluke play. Hail, all Hail Mary's are totally. Somewhat, I mean, unless you're Aaron Rodgers, Definitely. they're fluke yeah. plays. And so if that doesn't happen, if that gets batted down, what we're sitting at five and two and we feel completely different. We feel like, hey, that was a gutsy effort by the defense, gutsy effort by Caleb. How did they pull that off against a really good commanders team? Mm -hmm. So it's just but it's just so frustrating that, that the narrative is spun the other way and it's just like, God fucking damn it. Yeah, because out just, of your own way. Yeah, I feel like we'd be saying almost all the same things. Because it's like that Doug Kramer play still happened. Oh yeah, you but know? I, I like, but I would it's if like they you had, escaped and you exhaled. If, but if they had won that game, I, I'm looking at it completely. And this is probably very immature because you shouldn't just play the results. But I'm looking at it completely different in the fact that if they had won that game, I would walk away being like, I don't know how they won that game, but they won that game, and that's the sign of like a real tough football team that is ready for the yeah. battles that we're gonna have in the mm -hmm. NFC yeah. North. Instead. All of that goodwill goes away because you can't fucking guard a Hail Mary. I'm with you, though, because former Bears teams don't come out of the slog fest. Right. Like, they just, that last they six minutes doesn't yeah. happen. Right. You just die. So I'm with you 100%. To counterpoint, like, I just did the rundown with Stephen Che. He said the second to last play is like, I don't really care about that. You're running time off the clock. It's still a very low percentage play, the Hail Mary at the end. So there's your, you know, other side of the argument. You, wait, you, you, you don't care about the second to last play? Yeah, so what Stephen said. Oh he's no, like, I care he about said, it. He's Eberflus. So Steven's just Eberflus. <laughs> yeah, basically, he's yeah. Said, wrong. You're running time you off. You can't throw a hail mary from where they were. You need the second to last play to throw the hail mary. Like that's it's very and you simple. gave it to him for free. All you had to do was guard the sideline. They can't throw a hail mary from the fucking twenty yard line. And we you uh, can't. And we did that in the first half. Right. It's like they know. And that's the other thing. You had all three timeouts. And, and I know Sweat was banged up. He wasn't on the field for the last play. Maybe if you call a timeout, because he was still effective in the second half. He had the big he was sack. Awesome. Yeah. So I know he had the, the shin injury, the calf. Or that, that's what looked like it was wrapped up. Call the timeout. Set your defense. Maybe you get your best player on the field if he has another 30 seconds to, to catch his breath and be like, hey, man, can you just give us one more snap? And – they just – it's just like the opportunities that are staring them right in the face. Like I can't devise a game plan, but this stuff is like – like anybody Elementary. at this table can just be like, hey, this is the time to call a timeout. Hey, let's take a break to talk about DraftKings. The NBA is finally back. A new season means new ways to get into the action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Who's draining threes from beyond the arc? Who's crashing the boards and grabbing rebounds? Get behind your favorite players and prop bets you can bet you can make on DraftKings, the home of NBA player props. Ready to place your first bet? Try betting on something simple like picking a team to win. 
Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app and place your bet. First time, new DraftKings customers bet 5 bucks to win 200 bucks in bonus bets instantly. Take it to the rack with DraftKings Sportsbook. Every point counts. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code MID. That's code MID for new customers to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks. Only on DraftKings, the crown is yours. Yeah. So frustrating. Yeah. So <sighs> fucking frustrating. I mean, I listen, I, I do think this is probably going to be the game that keeps us out of the playoffs. Yep. The Cardinals are good, by the way. Yeah. Four and four. They're playing good football. That's not a cakewalk. Uh, it's on the road, too. Yeah, on the road. Uh, and and then we know what's coming up. So it's like – you know, if we end up being a nine and eight team or an eight and nine team, and we can look at this game and be like, "You blew it! You just blew it!" Yeah. Also, got to give credit to Jaden Daniels. He's fucking good. Yeah, yeah he, he is player. very good. Yeah. He's a very good. Player. Really it, good. Yeah, his his dynamic where if there's nothing there, he could just scoot and get yeah. you a quick first down is is honestly priceless, man. It, there was that it. one in the first quarter where it's like we oh we got him sacked. It was like third and nine, and then he just gets to the edge, and then psh, he makes down. linebackers look like they're in sand. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. TJ Edwards, like yeah, not his that, fault. Right? No, anyone you just can't. Yeah. You can't match up against him. That's anyone. And yeah. I again, I'm I'm not, I'm not changing my opinion on Caleb. No, I know people no. want like I'm going through hell right now on Twitter, but that's just what happens after you are? Bears loss. Yeah, I mean you, you <laughs> definitely are as well. No, I deserve it though. I don't. If we want to talk about this, I don't understand why opposing ham- fan bases hate him like they do. I think it's he was the number one pick and he's been the number one pick for two years and it's yeah. you know they don't like the nails and they don't like you know when he cried after one of the games and like that shit I get it I get it I understand it it's just I'm not gonna change my opinion on him when like Eddie said that's a that's a game we've watched a million times when the Bears are in a slog and they never get out of it and he got us out of it Dude, the one the play to Keenan Allen where he's scrambling and it's like he floats one awesome. back over the middle and I'm like. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, yeah. oh shit! And I mean, it's like a fir- like a big play awesome. in the first down, mm-hmm. and it's like we've never had a guy like that. The fact that he did that after getting his ass kicked with sixty percent of his line out makes that play in a huge spot. That om- like the, it's almost like I'm reinforced. Yeah, the DJ Moore pass was an insane pass. He insane. was getting he was getting absolutely smashed as he yep. was releasing the ball and put it exactly where it needed to be. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I mean yeah. he he. I, do I wish he started better and played better? Because the first three quarters, like if he played like he did in the fourth quarter for the first three quarters, we win that game easily. Yep. Yeah. And and that's frustrating as hell that it wasn't consistent on Sunday. But again, I don't pass Bears quarterbacks don't get us out of that. Yeah. And he almost got us out of that. Yeah. He really did look super overwhelmed. Yeah. Right. He just looked too hyped up. It was yeah. a homecoming thing. Like I just it, you could tell. Like even the. What was I don't know maybe the first series or the second like he bobbled a snap and then yep. he had one where first. he just absolutely airmailed a, a oh, screen. That'll so come. Keenan, yeah. yeah, like he missed him by like he was like ten yards over his head. It was I think crazy. that was intentional. That exact one. If we're thinking of the same play, I you said it well. <sighs> he just so. like in a baseball sense, he just wasn't seeing the ball well. Yeah, like he, and I was really impressed wasn't. with Jaden being able to command the huddle and kind of command yeah. the game yeah. plan there in yeah. the offense. Like you said, I'm still riding with Caleb. I still make I still take him number one, but uh, Same. Daniels Same. wins the first match, and there's going to be a lot of them. I said it uh, right before the game kicked off. It was weird to look at the records and be like, "Oh my god, five and three twenty five start. <laughs> yeah. It's five and two versus four and two. Commanders versus Bears. Like we are in a in a sense like." We got a little taste of the finer things club. We're we're, we're kind of knocking at the door, so it was weird. Yeah. And uh, on that note, too, shout out to DeAndre Swift, that fifty-six yard touchdown, huge, really good run. I don't know how he was able to keep himself from running out of bounds, and uh, that's the kind of runs that you paid him for. So uh, that was good. That yeah. was that was. A he has rate. been uh, like I I just flat out said he sucked, and I. Don't I didn't even get any blowback from from saying that, but he's been very good the last few weeks. With that said, I still think they're using him a, not completely properly. There's I, I I would like to see more Roshan between the tackles aside from just at the goal line. Yeah, I'm just ugh, so mad. Yeah, I, it's it's I'm it, so mad. It's, the worst part is is now I'm in this place where it's like it almost doesn't matter what they do the rest of the year because. I know this coaching staff isn't it. No, mm-hmm. three so, and seventeen on the road. That's an insane stat. I know they've been, they've had some bad rosters, but still fourteen and twenty seven overall. <laughs> it's fuck. It's three years, and like we obviously we all know the score with the first year, then last year with 
with uh, still the rebuild and the end of Justin Fields, whatever. But this this team, like this is a, I really do believe this is a good roster. I do too. Just get us an offensive line. Yeah, that's the thing. That's it's like Caleb, I mean, I, I the one thing I'll say is Caleb's deep balls have not looked good, and I don't wow. know if that's uh, just the offensive line and and not trusting it because he hasn't had more than a second to throw every single time. But that's something that obviously has to get <laughs> has to get going, and I just. Frustrating yeah. as hell. Like I said Friday, it's a slow leak in that corner of your ceiling where you're like, yeah, it's fine. And then the wins, you, you keep saying yeah. it's fine. And then when you lose, it's like, oh, it looks a little darker today. So Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. It's, uh, I don't know. The Cardinals are going to be a tough game. Yeah. Another three o'clock game, probably. Yeah. Another, another afternoon game. This going to be a tough game. Have to win. Must win. Have to win. <laughs> it absolutely. Is. Oh, it, it absolutely is. is. Next like, two. It, we it, said it, we got to go two on one. And yeah. We already burned our loss. So. Yeah, if we end up if we end up out of this stretch, if we lose to the Cardinals, end up out of this stretch five and four, if we beat the Patriots, like that's it's over. There's no chance. No, no. We're that means you got to finish the season above five hundred against uh, the NFC North. Which I, now that the NFC North has. Right I mean, now. Jordan Love got hurt again. The Vikings. I think people have started to figure out uh, Flores' defense a little bit. Uh, that's but true. The Lions are an absolute juggernaut. Dude, they they are so scary. And this is you know like we're we're not gonna we're not gonna win the NFC North, so you're gonna be a wild card team, and you just lost a game to another yeah. team that could potentially. I mean, the Eagles. It could be the Eagles or the Commanders could easily win the NFC East. So that could be a, a tiebreaker that you're like, God yeah. damn. And guess what? This week is another one because the Cardinals are four and four, and the AFC West or NFC West excuse wide me, is wide open. Yeah, Everyone's I mean, four and four. So. This is another one where if you lose this one, then you're just losing tiebreakers to a bunch of teams that you're probably going to be sitting there looking at in the six seven spot. Yeah, yeah, that, <sighs> you're right. Then we got the North and the Seahawks and the Niners, and it's not going to be easy. No. It's not. No, no. Wish Fest is coming up November 9th. It's year eleven. These guys are the best. We've been working with them forever. Uh, I think. I think I've been doing stuff with them since I year think the one. whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's it's awesome. It's cash for families going through, uh, you know, someone in their family having cancer. So they have a big concert November 9th, OAR, Mike po uh, Posner, Salt Shed, Open Bar. It's going to be awesome. It's a great, great cause, great people. We've been supporting them. Uh, they love us. They're stoolies. So uh, please, if you can get out there, support a great cause. It's going to be a great concert. So It's going to be a great time. Be awesome. Salt Shed's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's like Wish Fest. Is a, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. 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 Back to back. Big headliners, I feel like, this year. So Posner goes on at seven. I think OAR goes on at nine. Uh, so it's going to be a party. It's always it's become like a tent pole event for yeah. Chicago this time of year. Uh, so and now that it's up in the city, it's very accessible for for everyone else. So uh, make sure you're getting there. Dave and I will probably be there yeah, all I'll, day. They'll have football mm -hmm. on. They'll have college football on. Uh, I know Notre Dame plays Florida State. So during the day, college football's on. Beers are flowing, great time, big party at night. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, so your ticket, um, there's a whole different variety of tickets you can purchase. Um, but standard, it includes the open bar and the floor access for the concert. And 100% of the proceeds, that includes food, alcohol, doesn't matter. Every single dollar that is earned from the Salt Shed and uh, the Andrew Wisher Foundation that day goes directly to the Andrew Wisher Foundation and they'll donate money directly to families battling cancer. Uh, it's yeah. largely been a South Side event, but now, like Ryan yeah. said, it's it's in the city. So if you're a North Sider listening to this, if you you know a Pats guy like Ed, a Notre Dame guy, uh, Cubs fans, all are welcome. It's an incredible event. Yeah. Um, and I, I I love working with these guys. It's something that I that, drink, drink some beers for a good yeah. cause. Yeah. It, it's yeah. exactly what yeah. it is. It's yeah. exactly you're having an awesome time. Cubs awesome fans Cubs. are welcome. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> <you> no. <know. laughs> it's typically just a large South Side. Yeah. Thing. You know that. Yeah. No, I know. Um, so so yeah, come on night. out for it's it. It's a great night. Come on out. Let's take a break. Let's talk about cars.com. If you want to find a trustworthy dealer or dealership reviews from shoppers like you, check no further than cars.com, Chief. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Cars.com, the absolute best. Uh, if you want to find a trustworthy dealer, dealership reviews from shoppers like you, trust the masses. Cars.com offers the latest research, shopping tools, and dealership reviews to help you, uh, to help every shopper find the perfect car shop month shop by monthly payment uh or you can filter by different features that's huge because doing the math and trying to figure out what it actually is cars.com makes it so simple it's the number one place to start your uh your car shopping so go to cars.com and start exploring your next possibility 
today. Yeah, I went on there and I started tinkering with how much money I want to spend. And it's very easy, very helpful. It's a good way to kind of figure out your budget yeah. and what you want to spend and what you don't want to spend. And and get an idea of what's out there, what you can afford. It's it's the best. Yeah, it's good stuff. So go check out cars.com and uh, make sure you're using that because it's a trustworthy dealer, as mm-hmm. we said. And it's an intimidating process. And cars.com takes some of that away from you. It does. I'm going to be firing up cars.com coming up too. Good. There we yeah. go. Good, Dave. Uh, voicemails? Yeah. These should be good. Yeah. Bunch of them telling me to kill myself, I'm assuming. I Something like that. said that. <laughs> Just sad, fellas. You know, it's just an awful way to, lo- to lose. Dave, fuck you for saying I'll never apologize for a win after that touchdown. <laughs> I mean, I knew better than that. I almost texted my buddy, oh, we fucking beat the commanders. But I didn't because I knew some shit like that would happen. So look on the bright side. Caleb looked good in the fourth quarter, and if you're going to be shitty for three and good for one, you might as well make it the fourth quarter. And like Big Cat said in PMT, he had two game-winning drives. I mean, neither of them counted for the game winner, but the defense looked fucking great. Hope we got to get a fluce out of there, maybe Ben Johnson next year. So on to the next. Bear down. Oh, man. I had a I had a comment to the uh... – did you guys see that uh, the Packers, when they were going to win the game against the Jaguars, the guy goes down at the like, two-yard line? That guy had never scored a touchdown in the NFL. And that's just a good coach team. Uh, like that's the, the, And he said after, he's like, a win's the most important thing. That's the difference. That's the fucking difference. I would have taken it into the end zone. That's the difference, 100%. though, between winning organizations and losing organizations. They like like even a guy who's never scored a touchdown who has a walking touchdown does the right thing in that moment. And we got fucking Tyreek Stevenson yelling at the fans. And the fans are going, Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, I, like, yeah. Back, dude. I saw that as soon as we started. Go play recording, defense. Oh yeah. fuck. <laughs> Can we make light of something? The suck it sign was kind of funny. He did a suck it sign. Suck I, it I when crowd. I saw that video, I got so disgusted. Yeah, I know. I it's not funny. I it's not. It. But a suck it usually plays. Yeah, suck it always plays. Suck it always plays. I agree with you there. Hi, this is Evan, uh, first time caller. Big fans of you all. Um, watching that loss took every ounce of hope of of joy, excitement, um, this, this feeling of overcoming so much stupidity and bad decision making. It, it was just everything that you would want to wish on your worst enemy. And it's hard to, it's hard to have hope with these coaches, this coaching staff. These terrible decisions sometimes by these players. I don't know why Stevenson thought poking somebody in the eye was not going to get flagged in front of a ref, but you know, to each their own. And stupid is as stupid does, as, as Forrest Gump once said. So it's it's hard to to keep moving on after this. I actually want to bring. That's a good point that he just made. After the personal foul, I want to know what the coaching staff said to, to uh, Stevenson because if we're talking about like accountability and, and coaching moves and shit, that's where they should have nipped it yeah. in the bud. Yeah. And it know? was a chippy game. Yeah. It, it was, was a very chippy game. Very, very, very chippy game. Sure. Game. But a hundred percent of the time, the guy that fucking hits last is getting the penalty. So fucking walk away, walk away. And I, I like, if, if nothing was said to him it, after that happened, like I, it, I, that directly leads to him telling the Washington fans to suck it. I think. Yeah, yeah. Or no, maybe he's just insubordinate. It's discipline. It's or discipline. maybe he's just insubordinate. A million and, penalties too. Like it's discipline, and it's off a buy. It's just fucking discipline. Can can it end up being a good thing in some ways? Because oh, that's a fucking spin. Because 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 I'm trying to do. Anything. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Because I don't that, know. At this point, I don't know. I, I like. If that, if that happened last year, sure, it's a learning yeah, experiment, sp- experience. Because there is, listen, I love our DBs. I, they're a great unit. That's the thing. Stevenson's good. Like that's yeah. you, when people are like, you got to cut him. It's like, no, dude, yeah. you can't. Exactly. It's just, he's just got to be better. Like, that's our guy. And like, that, I, it's, it's, I love, I love that he apologized after. Like, yeah, take yeah. accountability. He got on there. He didn't yeah. fucking try to spin at nothing. But our, 
our DBs do do tend to but get out there a little bit. I Him and Brisker I, I and Jalen. Like, I don't you can't hate it either. That, you got to play with an edge if you're a defensive right. back. But I just you got to know where that line is, and you and that's that's where coaching comes in. Like finding that line, having your guys play free and with an attitude, but not going too far is that's. That's the definition of coaching. But that's the ironic part is that's what everyone has lauded Eberflus for. I know. All right, maybe he doesn't throw a great challenge flag, but he's got that locker room humming. They never gave up on him. They always believed. Yeah, I just hated his answers today being like, we got to focus on the positive. Just say I fucked this up. Yeah. Just say it. That would be so nice if somebody in a position authority in the Chicago sports said that once. Yeah, just like, hey, I fucked this up. Yeah. Should not have given them 13 free yards but to I, set up that Hail Mary. I don't think – there's anyone in that organization who has any doubt about that though that i don't think anyone thinks that they fucked it up though i truly don't you think that they all think like that just oh it's happens? just a fluke play it happened it, that's crazy to me but I, that's just i I, yeah. I, I think that i think that's, that's how crazy think. to me that that's that's a i mean that's just a, a top-down problem where it's yeah. just like yeah. you can't you can't i don't know what you could do to fix that i it's it's crazy to me I just think of like other coaches in that situation. They'd get there and be like, "Yeah, we fucked that up. Like, we should not have given them that free play to set up a hail mary." And I should have used a timeout <laughs> when I saw Stevenson halfway across the field uh, when the ball is about to be snapped. And guess what? Fucking rush five, dude. I like it's so hard to catch a hail mary. And it's really hard to catch Hail Mary when your guy doesn't have time to set up and throw. He had so much time to set up and throw. The the Lions did it with the the Vikings last week, mm -hmm. where the the Sam Donald had a Hail Mary, and the Lions I think rushed four or five, and it was like you can't get a ball off that way. And, and Booker wasn't on the field. Uh, Matt Taylor wasn't on the field. Sweat was like the, your most pure pass rushers were all on the sideline. It's crazy. It wasn't just Sweat, and it was. Every defense, every like high caliber defensive end that they have. Another point, I would just keep like the hurt just keeps <sighs> keep boiling, keeps boiling. You look across the field, and obviously it's not a defensive coach league. Dan Quinn looks like he was fucking running the show. He's driving the yeah. bus. Oh yeah, no, he's doing and, a great yeah, job. He's, he's doing a he's great a good job. Coach, he's mm -hmm. a good coach. The the Commanders are playing good defense. Like they they've figured it out a little bit. So. They're a good football. They're a good team, and that's what that's what makes it so much more painful. The fact that we went to another stadium, good football team, and we were about to win a game that we had no business winning. Mm -hmm. But that's a that's what you got to do sometimes. In the NFL can't even hire the best defensive coach. It's uh, yeah, yeah, right yeah, Orleans. yeah, yeah. We got we got the most we've ever gotten on this one. If you guys couldn't tell, but yeah, I, I'm believe. sure. Hey guys, um, I know that was a tough loss. Sorry, but I just wanted to ask. Uh, I was watching the stream. My question is, what percent uh, blame do we need to put on White Sox Dave for saying he'll never apologize for a win? Um, just, just asking if you could clear that up for me. Thank you. What'd you say? I personally would have given myself a hundred percent of the blame until I saw what Tyreek Stevenson did. Now I'll give myself twenty percent. He gets the. To me, he gets the large. Should you, be, him, should you be punished? And so yeah, are that's you, what we need to figure out. Are you willing to accept the punishment? If it depends on the punishment. Dan has to get a tattoo because of you. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Yeah. I, get a I tattoo. didn't make that bet. I know, but I, you you helped give me a tattoo. Should there be any punishment? Should he, Like a one str stream suspension? Should there be anything? <sighs> I don't know. Well, let's think on that. I, I, I accept be... my fault in it. I that I. Doesn't... That's like you uh, pled I, guilty. You still go to jail. Uh, fair. I understand. I get it. A duct tape mouth fourth quarter for the rest of the season. I'm trying to think like maybe like we get like a huge clock that he has to wear around his neck that's like super heavy. <laughs> Flavor Flav? Yeah, like Flavor Flav. That just when we just started as the game starts and it's like Dave can't like he can't take it off till it hits all the zeros. <laughs> I don't hate that. That's not bad. Like just a giant like yeah. orange be clock like a, and we just yeah. like yeah, yeah. We just start it right as the game starts and we yeah. just have it be a running time i, I want it to be like quarter. a cuckoo well, clock on yeah. a chain i don't hate yeah. a fourth quarter duct tape mouth either yeah i just how about well we're talking about accountability i have shown accountability <laughs> so credit to you dave yeah yeah yeah, Thank you. yeah. I appreciate that it, it, it 
I would have actually been fine if Eberflus went on Cap and Hood and was just like, yeah, listen, if you're looking for someone to blame, it's White Sox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Absolutely. At least there would have been some, some laughs yeah. out of that. Yeah. And we heard this guy said that the game was over. <laughs> Tariq I, Stevenson heard him say it was over. It was like telepathic. Yeah. Uh, it really was. It was like UFO shit. I, I just, when he threw the ball, too, I knew it was going to be caught. I think that was before the two point conversion. It was that too. It was, yeah. Fuck, he was before the two point conversion because I said you, we got to get the two point conversion because I was thinking they were going to get a field goal. Like I, th- I thought they were going to get a field goal because there was twenty three seconds. They had a timeout, two yeah. chunk plays, and they tied the game up and go to overtime. I did not think that was going to happen, but god damn it! Hey boys, uh, I survived the hurricane. I'm a few weeks late coming back to you. Uh, I wish the hurricane would have taken me with it. First, you hand the ball to Doug Kramer. He fumbles it. And then Stevenson, after being an asshole all night long, jawing people, punching people, tips the ball up in the air. Noah Brown sitting back there, catches it like a loaf of bread. It's the status I've ever been, sitting in traffic. Red lights in front of me, taillights all in front of me. <sighs> Coaches lost that game. Defense at the end of the game lost it. That's, that's a sad loss. That, that hurts just as bad as the Colts loss. I think it's worse than the Colts loss. Oh, it definitely is. I was, I, was, I, was, I was angrier after the Texans than the Colts loss. I was more, like, dead. Yeah. I, deflated. I, I, we, I said to you, Eddie, after, like, I went up and started working on PMT, and I was my body was, like, fully numb for about 20 minutes where I felt like I had a fever. I just wasn't even – it wasn't like an anger. It was just like my legs were numb. Mm-hmm. Well, and it's like I was so up for that game, and we yeah. Oh, I was so nervous. Like yeah. my, like all all weekend, I was getting excited. I was. I mean, you can even see in the gambling cave how I was watching. Like I wasn't getting too high, too low, because I was just like I was nervous Locked. for that game. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. get into the other games at all. Yeah. I, was, I was so pumped. Yeah, up. like I was the like, I get, slate. Get, yeah. Rid of, get rid of these games, and it was an awesome slate too. And I just didn't give a shit because I was so excited for yesterday. And it's like now I know. Because now I'm just like, there's a ceiling for this team. It's not going to end the way we want. I, like, I know I won't have that big game feeling again this year. Mm-hmm. Like, that's kind of how I am. Uh, like, Packers. If we win the next two games, Packers will be yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah. if we win the next, like, we'll re- I'll always get up for the Packers. You're a generally optimistic guy. I think you'll bounce back. I'm, I'm, it will be the case. It, it, it's kind of up to the Cardinals game. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm being, I'm, I'm a generally optimistic guy as well. And I think. If they if they respond and win against the Cardinals, I'll be like, okay, we could still make the playoffs. If they throw out a dud again, but that, it's just like fire everyone. We we gotta we gotta figure out how this can work long term. That's where I get into my head though, because it's yes. like if you make the playoffs, then Flus is still here, and if you improve the roster again, that's not always true. You don't think so? I mean, I don't know. I mean, for the Bears, for the Bears, I know. Yeah, it's uh, that's an organizational problem. Yeah, but coaches definitely still get fired. Totally. Uh, after going to the playoffs, but. yeah, I I just think that the Bears specifically, yeah, will keep that staff and be like, well, you know, Can't we're gonna do. we're gonna you know, look, I don't think we're going to the playoffs. I'm just, yeah. I'll be honest with you, I don't, I don't think we're, I don't think we're winning enough games. Like I, I'm just, where are the wins? I don't know. This was the win. Like yeah. you yeah. needed this one. Four and three. The Patriots. The only way. How many it? games do we have left? So it's it's four but, and three, and we have so we have, we have ten, ten games, games left. left. Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna go six and four? Maybe. It's hard to see that. And if we go six and four, is that still guaranteed a playoff spot? I don't know. Probably not. It might not be, especially if we lose some tiebreakers. Yeah. And like, I don't. There's. I I would be shocked if we went seven and three. That's a guaranteed playoff spot. But what? Yeah. How are we gonna go seven and? The only three? way is if, like you said, Minnesota. They <laughs> kind of cracked it there. You got those slash wide receivers. Like yeah. Luka and. Up, which we do kind of have, but I don't think we have the offensive line to beat them. So yeah, I don't. I, I think you you're hoping it, the best case scenario in the division at this point is you can somehow find a way to split against the Vikings and the Packers. I don't think. It, obviously, you play the game, and we'll see what happens. But I I don't know how you stop this Lions team as they're currently constructed. And you would think like the injuries. I thought they would take a step back with the injuries on the front four. Hasn't matter at all. And they'll probably make a trade. Yeah. So they'll probably get better. I, commanders just don't have a better roster than us. I know. I, just I know. Don't. I know. 
It's fr- it's frustrating. It just, <sighs> it's frustrating as hell. That was a winnable game. Like, yeah. and you look at who their receivers are and who our receivers are. Like, they're they it's desperately joke. need a like a legitimate number two. Mm-hmm. They didn't. Use, and then the Bears have three receivers who would be their number two or better. We also have Cole Komet, who I think had one target in that game yesterday. So it's like you have the whole bye week. The offense is humming. He's been kind of the safety valve. He's been a good player, and they don't use him at all. Yeah. That's just whatever. Terry has a stud, though. Yeah, he is. He's a good player. What's going on, fellas? Um, shit. I was originally going to call and say we didn't deserve to win that game with that game plan. The plays we were calling, that fumble right up at the goal line. But you know what? Fuck that. We did deserve to win that game. Two double holding on that Hail Mary attempt. No, you can't. No, 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 I can't. No, I, I, I said it last night. I, you can't. There are times and places where you can be like holding, holding, holding. When you have a guy who's fucking halfway across the field taunting the, the crowd and you also gave up an easy 13 yard completion for no reason the play before holding does not matter. No, I don't. I do not. I do not accept that as yeah. an excuse that that is a. The losses on the Bears, it has nothing to do with the refs. Nothing to do with the refs. I agree. You guys yelled at me for that before, too, by the way. What? I saw that take. There was It was earlier in the season. Uh, well, there's times when you can. There's times when there's clearly a spot where it's like, we got fucked. Like, the Vikings, the face mask. No, it, that was that. You can complain all day for that. Obviously, it won't solve anything, but it feels good to complain. This is a situation where you, you fucked yourself. Yeah. The Bears screwed the Bears, and to say the refs had anything to do with it is just crazy. It was like it would have been such – if it was an egregious, like he fucking held him and it would have been a sack, yeah. That was that would have been so ticky-tack. That would have mm. – Brett screwed Brett. Yeah, Brett screwed Brett. All right, let's do like two more. I'm so miserable. I don't want to – I need yeah. to like – I need to – I thought I was going to wake up in a better mood today, and I just did it. No, <laughs> these voicemails are like just another ingredient into like a hate show. Yeah, and it's <laughs> like I I I I, th- I I think about it all the time. Like, wait, I'm fucking 39 years old. I have three kids. Like, I thought that like I could wake up and be like, you know, take care my less. T- I took my kids to school today. Like, you know, playing with them this morning. Like, I thought I would just be like, ah, oh, this is fine. Life is more than this. But I was just salty as fuck wait, when I woke up. Well, they're of age to uh, no talking on the way to school. Yeah. Yeah. Can I actually say the the? <laughs> this is funny. The uh, my my daughter, who's three, uh, goes to preschool, and today this week is sports week. Ugh. So I came down for breakfast this morning, and she was dressed head to toe in Bears gear. That's not what like, I like, God damn it! To see. Yeah. What's wrong, it's Dad? Just like it's so punishing. What's wrong? Dad? She doesn't even know. Yeah. You know what I mean? She, like, you don't she like has my outfit? No clue. <laughs> it's like and yeah, she, she was, was cute bed. as fuck, yeah. but man. <laughs> She Did you feel guilty that you... Yeah, she's a loser. You're, you're, yeah. She's a loser. Yeah. Like the most painful look you've ever seen. Yeah, she's a straight up loser. <laughs> yeah, cute. <laughs> you loser. Look, I mean, I'll show you. I'm not going to show it on the screen, but I'll show you guys. It's fucking, she's a loser. She's a straight up loser. Uh, like that's probably the worst look she's ever gotten from her dad. Uh, that's adorable. Yeah, she's adorable. Yeah. She's a loser. Yeah. She's a loser today. She's got a Bears sweatshirt, Bears hat, Bears football. <sighs> Sports week. I got Sports for week. either my birthday or Christmas one year. It was it was a box like this big. It was it had a helmet, like the single bar kicker helmet plastic and all the pads and everything. And I wore it to school a couple times when in like preschool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Although I always make it a point to wear the gear on the next day after a bad loss you have to you have to you have to i always i always yeah. put on the hat because it's like you can't you can't, mm-hmm. if you're gonna the ride scarlet letter yeah and i i i uh <laughs> my son's school i dropped him off today and uh uh another parent who I actually knew from wisconsin uh like just walked by me he's like that was a tough weekend and how because he's a bad uh, i was like yeah dude yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that was a bad weekend I fucking hate sports. So I, I put, a, I put look a, who I root for. Look who I root for, dude. I I was saying the other night I was like, I, why don't I just I should just gamble and just not even care about like not root for anyone. But even but then I just sucks. lose all my money. Yeah, I put a good wager on LSU to win the national title, and that's just oh, that's, that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I did way worse. I I put one on Utah like week two. That's true. They've oh. lost I think like five games in a row. Oh, what's his face got hurt again? I think right. Yeah, yeah. But they they're miserable. Too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, boys. Retry. 
White Sox day, this hell is on you. Calling, <laughs> calling game before the fat lady sings. Crazy. Crazy. All right. Game sucked. Hell was not good, but positives with the bad. Caleb missed some throws. <laughs> they didn't turn the ball over. Defense. I think this game showed how much Brisker and Gordon mean to this defense. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's red zone defense. So good, boys. That's, we love that red zone defense is what we season. need when offense is rolling. That's the perfect type of football we want to play. Hand the ball off to the big guy, though. Man, that sucks. But playing that type of football, giving it to the big man, we loved it when it was working. We can't hate it the first time it fails us. It got us to where we are. All right, keep things rolling. Next week is a different week. Stay positive, boys. All right. It's hard to stay positive when it's this, uh, when you know that the like, coaching staff is yeah. not it. Yeah, exactly. It's not like he's going to. We just got to. We just got to keep think, reminding ourselves that Caleb is the guy, and it's it's different than it's ever looked. And it's I know people will say, "Oh, Justin and Mitch and all that shit," and it's like, no, I, I, I'm. That's the only thing. Like, if he had not gotten out of that slog, I would have been like, "Whew, that was not great." Yeah. But he he he. He had two game winning drives and neither of them counted for game winning drives. He did. Yeah. He did, yeah. <laughs> like that's yeah. that's just a fact. In the fourth quarter, he made big plays. Like that's I want to say something, but then people are gonna take it out of context. Don't take no this out of ever, context. No Don't take it out of context. If you're gonna clip this full clip. Have you guys watched Patrick Mahomes play football this year? It hasn't been pretty. Mm. But when he has to make big plays, he makes big plays. Yep. yep. Like that. So it, sometimes it's not going to be pretty, and then when the big plays are needed to be made, and you and you have a guy who can make them, like that's all that counts in my eyes. Would I like it to be all four quarters? Of course I would. But sometimes winning ugly happens. It's a seventeen game schedule. There's going to be games where you just don't look good. But if you can find a way to win them, that was why I was so excited about the the game until White Sox Dave opened his mouth. Yep. <laughs> That's the last one, Dave. You're so right. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I deserve it. I but, deserve it. But it, you know what I'm saying? You're too, hey, you're I'll so right. say this though. I'll say this though. <laughs> the coaching staff, it, it, like they seemingly have not learned from their mistakes. Like with the fucking gadget shit on the goal line, I will learn from my mistake. I will not do this. Yeah, thing. I know you won't. You're coachable. What exactly. You I'm a coachable. So I'm right. coachable athlete. You're, you're so right. And I had that vision too. I was like, I, it doesn't matter. Like Mahomes has looked cr like downright crappy. Yeah. yeah. A lot. Right. But but when you need a drive, he gives you a like, drive. And like Caleb looked crappy for three full yeah. quarters, and then when you needed a drive, he gave you two drives. Mm -hmm. So it's like I still feel that confidence in him. And guess what? The 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 commanders could have iced the game away and they weren't able to get the first totally. downs they needed. Yeah. So it's like that's that's where I'm looking at positives and it's hard to find positives in this game, but those are they're there somewhere. They, oh. There have been teams that have won in spite of a bad coach. I mean Mike McCarthy won, you know. Yeah. So it's like that's the only that's, yeah. the, that's He's the only a bad half, coach. The only half full I am here, right? I yeah. I have one. You this was always I know it's year three of Poles and Eberflus, right? It's it's yeah, yeah, yeah of both of them. Mm -hmm. You know they're going to sink a lot of draft capital, trades, money into that offensive line, and that is – that's the number – No, one. next year will be uh, – yeah. That's the number one issue with this team, even more so than the than the coaching staff, yeah. in my opinion. I did have this And it's urge fucking gutted right now with injuries. When Karan uh, – granted, first game, rookie, Yale, whatever – when he went out, I was like, maybe we should just give Braxton Jones a hundred million dollars. <laughs> Seriously, right? Yeah. The, the, it's night and day. You don't yeah. think of Braxton Jones as some fucking no, but it's stud yeah. left tackle. Yeah, right, boy. exactly. Right. Yeah. Man. All right, you want to do last one? Yeah, it's a quick one. Sorry to pile on, Dave. No, it was, no. Oh, yeah, pile on. You're taking it well. Mm. Well, I know what I did. Yeah, and you've done it before. Thanks a lot, White Sox, Dave. Thanks a lot, buddy. That was it. I love it. All right. <laughs> I love it. All right. That was a perfect ending. Yeah. yeah All good. right. Beat the Cardinals. Beat the Cardinals. Beat the Cardinals. Are we, oh, yeah. Are Hopefully we, Brisker and, and Gordon are back because they make a big difference. Are we able yeah. to watch the Bulls and the Blackhawks now on no. FUBU TV? No, but there is a report. Fubu? Yeah, you're on, they're on FUBU, yeah, right? Yeah, they're on FUBU, yeah. 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 Fubu's I think I have that. that. FUBU, yeah. FUBU, yeah. FUBU, yeah. FUBU, yeah. FUBU. 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 Do I have that? That's Damon John. I might have that. 
I don't know, whatever. I did. There was a report from Elliot Friedman's podcast came out today that Connor Bedard has growing frustrations with the Chicago Blackhawks. Ooh, oh, look at that. yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So fun time. Yeah, love that. Mm -hmm. Love to hear that. Yeah, he's gonna don't worry. He's not not like he's up for an extension after this season. Oh man, he had the man a trade. I hope he does. Fuck this team. <laughs> You're there, huh? Oh, That's fun. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, the Bulls one and two. And I saw your That'd little rant months. the other day on I don't even give I hope they don't fucking televise these teams. Well, I would like to watch them. I'd like to watch them. When, I, you, when, when uh, it it's, it's January, I would like to watch them. Sure, but like in the weird way, it's like fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. But like <laughs> That's it. Fuck them. I under <laughs> Yeah, fuck them. No, that suck. I went to Hawthorne Friday, and I was like, oh, I could watch the Bulls. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only way I could watch the Bulls yeah. when Why? I go out. Because they had just had it. Like, I don't have it at home. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, like you got to go to a bar or something. Yeah. I watch one Hawks game at a bar. That's it, yeah. It's, yeah. I need to go to a, a Hawks game. I just don't have time. I'm actually, I'm. You can be one of the 10,000 there. I'm about to write a check to to good old Tom Ricketts, or, or the Cubs tickets. We get to decide him today. So, nice. that's fun. Just. <laughs> Hopefully, put a note into it, being like this: these tickets only come with one soda. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, please do. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right that's boys. it. All right, Dan. Thanks everybody for listening. Thanks for watching. Back on Friday.